You can use reports with cross filters to look deep into your data without doing any coding. Cross filters let you include or exclude records in your report results based on related objects and their fields. In this demo, we'll show you some ways to narrow down a search to find just the records you need. Together, we'll create an exception report to find accounts that don't have any contacts listed. We'll also create a report that lists opportunities that need follow-up. Let's say you're in charge of cleaning up your company's data, and you want to find all accounts that don't have any contacts listed. We know that the contacts object is a child object of accounts. So let's set up an accounts report. The report builder opens up with several columns already in the preview pane by default. You can remove the ones you don't need by clicking on the X next to the field in the outline pane, or by clicking the drop down arrow next to the column header. You can even choose to remove all columns and start from scratch. All we need is the account name, so we'll use Quick Find to locate it. Now let's set up our filters. We can see from the filter icon that there are already two filters on this report. Let's click the Filters pane for the details. We'll edit the filters to show all accounts, created anytime, and now we'll add a cross filter by clicking the drop down arrow and choosing Cross Filter. Pick a filter condition that expresses what we want to find out. In this case, we'll use the without condition. You can see all the child objects of the account object here in this column. Select Contacts. With a few clicks, we've just created an exception report to zero in on customer accounts that don't have contacts associated with them. You can use field filters to further narrow down your results. For example, to help you get to the most important stuff first, try filtering out any competitor accounts. Now we've got a list of non-competitor accounts without contacts. We'll save it to a public folder so that we can share it with the sales team. Nice work! But there's even more we can do with cross filters. Did you know you can filter using both with and without conditions? Say you're the sales manager and you want to see how your team is doing on closing their opportunities. You want to find all accounts and opportunities that are closing in the next 30 days that don't have any activities planned in the next 30 days. We'll start with accounts again. In the filters pane, We'll add a cross filter, accounts, with, opportunities. This time, we'll also add a subfilter by clicking Add Opportunities Filter and selecting Close Date equals Next 30 Days. By choosing a relative date, the report will display opportunities closed within 30 days of whenever the report is run. It's like it'll never get stale. Each cross filter can have five subfilters. Now let's add another cross filter for accounts. Without activities. And a subfilter for a relative date where date equals next 30 days. Each report can have up to three cross filters. When we run that report, we now have a list of accounts that need a follow-up from our sales team. That's a quick look at how you can use cross filters to look deep into your data without doing any coding. It's quick and easy, and you can do it right in the Lightning Report Builder. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.